It was the end of an era. Years of litigation finally being put to rest after U.S. court sentenced notorious Kenyan drug baron Bakta Shakashe to 25 years in prison. Appearing before U.S. District Judge Victor Marrero in Manhattan, Bakhtash was sent to jail after the court established he was the head of the Akash organization that operated a major drug smuggling syndicate connecting the poppy fields of Afghanistan to Europe and U.S. cities. Bakhtash's lawyer, George Golzer, had pleaded for a minimum sentence of 10 years, arguing that Akasha was arrested in a sting operation and never actually brought any drugs to the United States. Before his sentencing, Bakhtash apologized to his friends and family and pleaded for mercy from the judge. The case stemmed from a U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration probe in the Akasha organization, leading to the extradition of the two brothers from Kenya in January 2017, along with Pakistani national Ghulam Hussein, who was charged with heading a drug transportation network, and Indian businessman Vijayagiri Goswami, who is accused of managing the Akasha organization's drug business. Bakhtash's brother Ibrahim has already pleaded guilty in the case and is scheduled to be sentenced in November. The sentencing comes in the wake of a recent raid on the home of Mombasa businessman Ali Punjani, who was adversely mentioned during the Akasha trial for operating a rival drug cartel. The businessman who had been hospitalized in India is said to have been discharged yesterday but is yet to be arrested. Kenyan and FBI detectives could also be looking for other high-profile individuals, including police officers, judges, lawyers and politicians, who are said to have been offering protection to their Kasha drug business. Shukriwachu K24, Newscut.